Hi guys, this is Shivaradi. Welcome to the session on Java uh, multi-threading in Java. In this session, we are going to look at the uh, couple of methods which are available in the thread class, and uh, we are going to use these methods very frequently. Hence, um, I am trying to explain uh, all these methods at one shot. Okay, so let us go ahead and um, start our Eclipse. So I am going to use the uh, my thread class uh, is the one which we have extended uh, the thread class. Using this class, I am going to uh, explain these methods. So uh, for this thread class uh, demo is the main method. In this, I have created the two objects. One is uh, my thread class one and my thread class two. I started two threads. The first one we are lo look it, uh, looking at is the sleep. Now what sleep method is going to do is this sleep method um sleeps is a current thread for the predefined time whatever the time we are passing to the method those many milliseconds the thread will be slept once that time will elapse then again the thread will come to the running state so if you have any requirement where you want to sleep a we want to stop or sleep a um not stop it is like a sleep particular duration of the time then you can apply thread dot sleep. Then what happens is whenever the JVM executing the uh, thread, then it is going to sleep for those many pre uh, for the timestamp whatever we are passing here. Now I'm trying to run this program so that we can see that for the each thread when it is trying to run, it is going to take a one minute one second of time and it will execute. See here, zero one zero one zero one. So context switch between the two threads it is happening because we have given the uh, thread dot sleep as a thousand milliseconds. That is the advantage of the thread dot sleep method. The next one is join method. What join method is going to do is join method makes sure that the current thread die. That means wherever or on which method or on which thread you are applying the join method it will make sure that it will complete then only the priority uh, then only the cp is available for the other users now let us consider in our case my thread class one dot join i am applying on the uh, my thread class one thread now this method is going to throw the uh, interrupted exception so we need to catch the exception now what I'm saying is whenever you apply my thread class one dot join, this will make sure that my thread one completes, then only the my thread two class thread will start. I'm running this um, program. And uh, if you see here, first what it is doing, it is trying to complete the thread one first, and then the control will, the CPU uh, will be available for the thread two. That means the thread scheduler, it will make sure that whenever you apply a join, it will make sure that the current thread, uh, make sure it should terminate it. And then the CPU is available for the next thread. That is the uh, usage of the join. Even you can specify join by passing the milliseconds also. So it has a three uh, different ways you can apply the join. And the next one is yield. What yield method is going to do is, Yield, whenever you apply yield method on any thread, then what happens is this, this thread will allow the, this thread currently wherever you apply this uh, yield method, that thread will pass for some time and it allow the other threads to come, other threads to run it. But if there is any threads are not aware, not, um, not in the queue, for the execution, then this thread continue to execute it. That is the that is the usage of the that is the usage of the or use uh, use of the yield. What yield method is going to do is it is going to make sure that the it will pass the current thread and it will allow the other threads to run. And if there is no other threads are running, then this method will this thread is continue going to run. That is the advantage of the yield method. Then we have a one more uh, method for the setting the priority. Now, if we want, you have a many threads are there and based on the, uh, you want to have 
few threads run uh, first then only other threads you can uh, you don't bother about other threads then what you can do is you can set the priority for the threads based on the priority what happens is the uh, thread scheduler will pick up those uh, threads and it will try to execute it now in order to um, show that one what i am going to do is i am going to comment out this uh, sleep method uh, sleep functionality whatever applied on this uh, in the method so i am just commented out okay so one second just i commented at that code now what i am doing here is uh, in the thread class demo i am going to set the priority for that so each thread by default will have the normal priority so that value is going to be 5 so in order to see what is the default behave default uh, um, priority for the thread you can get from the priority you can get from thread dot current thread dot get priority so if you don't specify any priority for the thread it will be normal priority so value is going to be 5 for that now when i run this program once again you can see that priority for this all the threads is going to be um, 5 see here the priority is going to be the 5 now what you can do is you can set the priority based on the uh, based on your requirement now what i am going to do is for the my thread one i am going to give the priority as um, set priority i can give max priority dot it has a properties max priority then what happens is it will make sure the system will the jvm will or make sure that this uh, thread uh, class one dot start is going to complete first it will give the high priority and then the thread class 2 will be taking the priority see here the whatever the high priority we have given that will be complete first and then second one will be uh, going to be second priority okay now one more thing what we can do is here if you see the thread name what i am doing in my thread class is i am getting the thread dot current thread dot get name by default how the th thread name it is going to provide it is thread is going to be common it is going to hyphen dash zero is for the first thread and uh, one is two one is for the second third like that it is going to give the naming convention but if you want to provide your own naming here then that also it is possible using the set set name set name so here you sorry set name here you can give your own name my thread one okay so if i specify my thread one then when i run this program you can see that for the thread instead of thread had dash zero it will say that my thread one similarly if you want to apply for the thread two also you can apply so this is going to be my thread class 2 and i can say that my thread class my thread 2 now when i run this program you can see that for the first thread it will be uh, my thread 1 and for the second thread it will be my thread 2 so this is how you can set the names to the threads and you can set at the same time you can set the priority so priority is going to be max priority and another one is the normal priority so if we say normal priority this is the by default one so whatever the based on the time uh, based on the thread scheduler it will be picked up and if you say low priority thread dot uh, min priority so if you say min priority the value of the priority is going to be one and uh, this is what it is going to happen so if you want to have any thread uh, execute uh, if you want to execute any thread based on the priority then you can set them as a high priority so that high priority threads will be executed first later it will come to a normal or the min priority that is how you can set the priorities and one more method we have is 
the you can set the daemon thread so daemon threads are the threads which are actually um, which are the which are daemon threads basically a helper thread to support some process for example if you consider in the java we will call garbage collector as a daemon process daemon process is a low priority thread and uh, it it does not have a real life until uh, it always depends on the user defined threads for example if there is no threads is running on the java then there is no value for the daemon thread uh, daemon thread uh, that is garbage collector so similarly if you want to set any thread as a daemon thread then you can set using the uh, set daemon thread so dot set daemon you can specify true okay now this will be the daemon thread okay so this is the one of the uh, uh, method if you want to uh, make any thread as a daemon you can get it and then is and then we have a one more method get id get id is the unique representation of the current thread so what i am going to uh, print here is i am going to print the id also so that we can see what exactly it means is okay, thread dot current thread dot get id okay now this is going to uh, give you the object id associated to the particular thread now if you see here this is the id is going to be 10 and here id is going to be 9 so for the each thread it is going to have a unique identity identification for the thread object id that is going to be written and then current thread so current thread is always uh, written uh, as with the current information and uh, so that you can get the required data from the thread for example in this case what i am doing here is that current thread means whichever it is currently executing that thread will come and you can set you can get all the properties with respect to the current thread. for example if it is a get id or a get name priority and active account so all these things you can get using the current thread object and the what is the state of it and is it allow as it is a daemon thread so all these properties you can go ahead and uh, uh, use on the uh, using the thread dot uh, current thread um, it is going to return actually a thread object so if you want to print if you want to know any details about the thread you can use it so um, at high level so these are the most frequently used um, methods which are available in the thread class and uh, when I go further with the thread groups and uh, thread pooling concept there i am going to explain further uh, uh, help uh, further methods which are useful for uh, working with the multi threading hope you are clear with the concept and uh, if you have any questions please comment on my youtube video and please do subscribe to get more um, updates uh, more technical updates from my end